today we're going to be talking about circumference and area of circles. So the first thing that you need to know, and we talked about in class, is that this, the distance around a circular object, object is called the circumference. So around the circle is the circumference. Cutting through the circle from the center point is the diameter. Circumference, which is the C, equals pi times D. For those of you that are unfamiliar with pi, pi, this is the symbol, equals 3.14. So to, if you have this, to find the circumference, you multiply 3.14 times the diameter of the circle. So circumference is about 3.14 times the diameter. Find the circumference, the distance around. So given that the diameter is four, your job is to find the circumference. So again, circumference equals pi times diameter. So with your calculator, 3.14 times D, which is four, equals 12.56. And that is the circumference for this problem. next problem says find the circumference given that the diameter is 12.5. So again, circumference equals pi times d. Circumference equals 3.14 times 12.5. And that equals 39.25. You'll notice also that your, cal your calculators have a pi button that you can use, but if you have one that doesn't, you need to know that pi equals 3.14. Okay, the next part is moving into area. So area of a circle. You'll be able to calculate the area of a circle and you'll understand the reason the formula works. Review, previous concepts. If you don't have these already written down, you need to write them down this time. Diameter is the distance across the center of a circle or twice the radius. So again, radius is the halfway point, diameter is all the way across. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge or half of the diameter. And finally, pi, which is the mathematical symbol here, is a symbol used to represent 3.14 or 22 over seven. That's the fractional part. Using the ruler to determine the radius and diameter of these two circles, round to the nearest centimeter. So again, showing you with the ruler. And again, I'm estimating if I'm at center point of the circle. So I'm going to estimate that the diameter of this circle is 4. So we'll go from here to here, and you see that is 4. So if the diameter is 4, that means the radius is half of that. The radius will be 2, because that's where... That's the radius. On our second figure, drag my ruler over here, and I see that my radius, my diameter, sorry, is 2.8, and I'm going to round to the nearest centimeter, making it 3. It's almost there anyway. And my radius will be half of that, meaning 1.5. You can see it's right there, roughly. So with this information, we're going to be able to find the area, meaning how much space this circle has. So the area of a circle formula, pi r squared. So area equals pi times r squared. Pi is a 3.14. R stands for radius, and you square that number, not times 2, but square it, number times number. So the radius of the circle squared and multiplied by 3.14. So this, this diagram shows you the radius is 2. So the formula is 3.14 times 2 squared. So 3.14 times 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. And then 3.14 times 4 equals 12.56. And 12.56 represents the area for the entire circle. So let's look at another one. This one has a diameter of 2 units. So again, the pi r squared is the, is the formula. If I'm given that the diameter is two units, 
I know that the radius is half of that. So for this problem, the radius equals one unit. So the formula would be pi, sorry, pi times r, which is one, and I square that. So it's pi times one, because one times one is one, and 3.14 times that is 3.14. This one shows me that the radius is three units. So I can go pi times three squared, which is pi times nine. And I can put it in my calculator. So 3.14 times nine, and that equals 28.26. And then my final example, example says the diameter is four units. So all the way across is four. My formula though is radius. So I need to find half of the diameter, which is only two. So pi, oops, times two squared, which is gonna be 3.14 times four. And that's 12.56. Again, I think we have that one already. 12.56. So again, given other dimensions, you just have to think about what the formula is. Formula for area is pi r squared. And that's it for area and perimeter, area and circumference of circles. And we'll continue practicing with these in class tomorrow.